Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly update. I know it's been insanely long since my last one. Um, so that means this is going to be a very long update. So stay tuned because I got a bunch of awesome stuff um, to show you. And we're going to go ahead and kick off the update with um, Little Arm Chop's brand new midi gun, which I will definitely be re uh, reselling on uh, my website, legboyproductions.com. Link below. Um, so I want to quickly uh, show you that and we'll get on to some other cool stuff. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people were wondering what this looks like because it just got released. And uh, it is a very, very nice weapon. I very much like it. The quality is very nice. And uh, a lot of people are probably going to complain that it is a bit small. And... Um, I guess I could agree a little bit, but when I actually went back and looked at a couple of the um, original, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, season one um, episodes, I noticed that this is the correct size. That it's supposed to be coming out of the uh, the barrel is not supposed to be that big and giant as what you may think. The reason why you you guys may think it's so freaking big or so I'm sorry so freaking small is the fact is because you're used to a brick arms minigun, and as you can see the brick arms minigun is very like another like millimeter two millimeters longer, um, so that's probably why it is size accurate for a clone. Um, but and then please keep in mind these are not like meant for like. They're not like Brick Arms miniguns where they're meant for like a Paco Lego as well. These uh, Brick Arms minigun are more of a universal uh, gun. This is meant for clone troopers. Um, so, yeah. And of course, you know, uh, it wouldn't be a minigun if it didn't have um, some features. And it does have the famous uh, spinning barrel. And um, another cool feature that uh, Brick Arms minigun doesn't uh, offer is the fact that you can actually turn the handle um, 360 degrees along with the barrel so you can position it uh, like kinda like that or whatever you want to do that's something the brick arms minigun can't do so and this is a prototype weapon it is released but this is a prototype version I got uh, mini, uh, Little Arm Shop sent me this um, because I'm a reseller I, I was able to get it a little early so, very nice thank you to them. So, this is what it looks like. And um, I should be releasing it, I want to say, maybe a little bit before October 1st. I may be able to get get it before then, uh, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see how things turn out. Um, I did order a bunch of them, so I will be reselling them. Whenever that package comes in is when a, they go right on the site. So, uh, I'll basically make a vlog on my Lego Boy Vlogs channel. Or a weekly update explaining when that comes out. Um, another random thing. Moving on to some other stuff. I made a figure today because I was bored. So I made this random figure. He kind of looks cool. He's got the cool face mask. And then he's got the Brick Arms Core uh, Burner brick, um, Prototype. And uh, I put like a Brick Arms Combat thing on. Another prototype weapon on the back. And just like this... Thing I got found in nowhere. So random figure. He looks kind of cool. I like how he came out. I don't know what you could use him for, but I was bored. Boredom can go very far. All right. Well, I think we can get on to some exciting stuff, like a giant army of Halo Spartans and ODSTs. So yeah, that looks really cool. Um, but sadly, it's not for my own collection. I wish it was. Whoa, that was scary. Um, <laughs> uh, so this is all the stuff I'm selling on LegoBoyProductions.com. This is the Fall 2011 line, and uh, all of this is to be sold on the website. So if you ordered, you're probably gonna get one of these. Um, and some of this stuff, like this right here, is. Prototype stuff, I'm still thinking about selling, maybe not, but uh, this middle stuff, I know if the factors on the site, citizen brick stuff, all of these torsos are on the site for only like $5 each, and they're all completely printed. Very nice torsos. And then uh, the ODSTs, uh, 
only ten dollars each very good deal and then I got the uh, red versus blue battle pack so very nice um, and then some just ideas in the back and some heads to make the figures you gotta have heads in order to make these really cool figures for you guys and then here's some leftover gear that'll probably be used for future stuff and then some more creative ideas of future product ideas um, Oh yes, I have all of C or Series 5, all of 16 of the minifigures. Um, now, this isn't necessarily correct, but uh, this is Minifig Maker's body and Friendlag's head. So, let me go ahead and show you the correct position, or whatever you might call it. Let's come on over here. And, actually, I posted a Flickr photo, I think two days ago or something and um, a lot of uh, you guys were wondering how I did it it was basically a shot inside uh, the gunship this shot right here I made a uh, like a movie set kind of thing and had the gunship in the background that way it looked like it was flying had my window open very uh, neat little camera technique but uh, anyways let me uh, switch these helmets off to their correct positions So, I've got minifig makers, uh, Commander Wolf right here, and this is Friendly Ang's um, eBay Wolf. You can get this off eBay. Uh, both are really awesome, and, um, you know, what I found best is if, I think Friendly Ang, or Friendly Ang, however you want to say his name, Friendlag, whatever, um, I think his body looks the best. But if you switch his helmet, like I was showing you earlier, with Minifig Maker's helmet, it looks perfect. And because, you know, a lot of you, if you know Commander Wolf Hardcore, you'll know that he doesn't wear a pauldron. You know, Minifig Maker's body doesn't look as accurate as Friendly Ang's does. So, yeah. Anyways, just wanted to quickly show you that. Moving on, I got uh, Halo Reach George. I bought another uh, advent calendar. And my very first ever Mega Block set. I've never purchased a Mega Block set till now. So, this will be interesting to build. It's the Falcon. Probably a good set starter for my first Mega Block set. I hope it'll be good. And then I got another Swamp Speeder. Um, oh, yes. I also picked up a lot of Series 5 minifigures. And I picked up three Gene Ocean Starfighters that are still in the box brand new. And then I got some freebie stuff from Lego from the Super Star Destroyer And when I went to the Lego store for a visit. And if we come down here, we have a Target surprise. I went to Target and those of you who saw the vlog, I actually picked up uh, around 15 to 20 of these bad boys, an AAT, a mini one from the Boo, Boo model. Battle, you can get this in your Lego Target. It's in the seasonal section, it's not in the Lego section. Um, so I picked up pretty much all of them. Uh, see what else do I got around here? Oh yes, I'm getting I'm get tomorrow I'm getting all the Square Enix figures. This giant Emil, it's a Square Enix figure, it's super super detailed, and I'm getting all of them. George Cat Carter, all of them. And uh, they'll go along with my uh, uh, Pedro um, what do you call them? Uh, noble team, sorry. And if we move over here, you'll see that I'm going to start Geonosis again. Uh, once I'm done with the Battle of Naboo, I'm probably going to get back to the Geonosis battle. It's been cluttered lately. I started clearing it out and got the Geonosians back. Um, so I'll go ahead and build those three other Starfighters, add them, and hopefully get this mock. Well, it probably won't be complete because of the new... 2012 sets, the Genos and Canon, so I'll probably have to wait to that till the project is actually completely finished. Um, other than that, I showed you all that stuff in uh, last weekly update. Ah, I know what I can show you. If we come down here, you'll find that my case of Little Arm Shop has been refilled with brand new weapons. I've got some uh, commando glasses, some star quartz pistols, uh, some stand, sand sticks, um, snow trooper weapons, um, 
So Django Fett's blaster, this thing right here. And it's also Boba Fett's, any kind of bounty hunter really. So I got a bunch of new weapons. Again, you can click that link down there and head on over to my site. Weapons are a dollar, twenty-five dollar, pretty cheap for little plastic weapons. Brick arms charges like some like two dollars for a couple of them, but uh, I try to keep them really cheap for you guys. And then also I want to mention that that mini gun it will be running, excuse me, um for three twenty-five, three dollars and twenty-five cents, which again is cheaper than brick arms. It's brick arms <laughs> is like eight dollars and five. <gasps> wow, um eight dollars and five dollars. So my little arm shop gun will be the cheapest, but um, yeah, that that pretty much is it. Um, at least for the Lego room, um, we'll go ahead and go down the hallway and I'll show you what's new with the new Alexander mod because I have been working on it. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering. I did tell you guys that I'll be extending it, so this will be quite interesting. Um, I really haven't done too much work. Because the school started started um, last week, so I worked on this. I made this little like nice looking staircase that'll go right here. Um, so I got this. I'm not gonna rebuild the tower. It's still down there, just not right now because I have all this clutter mess, all these tiles and stuff. I'm just trying to build and get some ideas of what I want to do for the next part of the new Alexander mock. Um, there's not much else in here. Just a cluttered mess. Really, um, I put the superstar destroyer over here right now. Um, also, I want to give you thanks, guys. I got a lot of good, great feedback. Actually, it's like up to twenty thousand views. The review, apparently, everybody liked the review, so I'm really excited. Glad that came out. Really awesome for you guys. Um, I, well, I could presume that because it is the last um, twenty eleven um, uh, set. <laughs> Me and my stupid, uh, your forgetness, whatever. Also, I got this cool Brick Arms Will Chapman exclusive card. It's got his, uh, phone number right there. I'm, I'm covering it up. But, uh, it's quite funny. And then I got, uh, Ross's business card. I didn't show you this in a weekly update, but, uh, I thought I'd show you now. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Let's go ahead and head on over outside which is kind of dark right now to the garage okay guys so we're out here in the garage and this is the first time I'm showing you those of you who don't follow my vlog channel which I hope you do please do with um, youtube.com slash Lego boy vlogs I show all kinds of cool stuff that I don't show here in the weekly updates and maybe a couple of you guys who don't follow the vlogs didn't realize that I'm working on a giant scale of the Battle of Naboo and um, this is the first time you'll actually see it in HD quality um, because the vlog channel doesn't really show uh, high quality but um, you can get a good idea now that I have a HD camera in here for the weekly updates some very nice gumpkins looking awesome and uh, I haven't those of you who do follow the vlog channel I haven't done really any uh, work in here because of school I also want to quickly show you that I did get Mini Fig Makers Season 4 um, Rex, which looks amazing. And to add to that, I have, I want to say about 110 Phase 1 clones, all blank and brand spanking new. Thanks to a couple of you guys who um, found this guy on eBay, selling for like $3.50 each, bought them all up. Um, so that was awesome, they're all brand new. And uh, probably a lot of you are jealous because it's exclusive and pretty hard to get those. Also got a couple swamp speeders in the mail. Oh, not swamp speeders. That's what I'm going to talk about. Bark speeders from the uh, old turbo tank. I bought them separately for like 10 bucks each. And so th those are great, great in the mock. I got some AATs ready to go up on the hill. Um, I'm still waiting parts. Ridiculous. It's taking forever to get some parts from Germany. Um, I still have some nice parts here that I'll be using over there, um, but I got to finish this part off, um, and yeah, I pretty much am out of brakes now, um, running low on droids and stuff like that. Here is all my Kashyyyk clones, I have six of them, yeah, 
and uh, some Gunkin patrols that I gotta open. There's a lot of stuff I gotta open. I'm kind of getting lazy because of school and stuff. But uh, oh, huh. I didn't even know that I had two Commander Cody's right here, and I never realized that. That would have failed. I got a lot of cool stuff right here. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's probably unnecessary for you guys, but uh, yeah. So, a lot of droids. Do, 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 Yeah. Well, anyways, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys enjoy the 400 droids. Um, they look great. Especially for the fact that they're going down a hill. It looks really awesome. Um, so, yep. That is the Battle of Nabubok. And I am in my garage from separate from my house. So, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next weekly update. Bye, guys.